Considered a threat capable of shifting the global balance of power, uranium remains one of the most dangerous substances ever extracted by mankind. It's the key ingredient behind both nuclear energy and atomic weapons. But do you know how humans manage to mine, enrich, and transform tens of thousands of tons of uranium every year? Turning it into a force powerful enough to make even the world's superpowers uneasy? That journey begins deep underground, where uranium ore is pulled from ancient rock formations and transported to some of the most secure and advanced facilities on the planet. Under tight security and constant supervision, this raw material undergoes a series of complex chemical reactions and is processed through high-tech centrifuge systems. From what seems like just another harmless mineral, uranium is transformed into enriched uranium, ready to fuel nuclear power plants. Join us as we follow this intense technological journey where stone becomes power. You may have heard that uranium is the main radioactive component of nuclear weapons, but you may not fully understand it. Uranium is a heavy metal that is naturally radioactive with a silvery gray appearance and is most commonly found in ores such as uraninite. The largest uranium deposits are concentrated in Canada, Kazakhstan, Australia. In nature, uranium exists mainly in two isotopes, U-238, which makes up about 99.3%, and U-235, which accounts for only 0.7%. However, it's U-235 that has the ability to trigger nuclear fission, a process in which a heavy atom like uranium splits apart, releasing an enormous amount of heat along with highly radioactive particles that can cause cancer in humans. To harness uranium's energy, it must be enriched, meaning the percentage of U-235 in the material is increased from 0.7% to around 3 to 5%. What's truly astonishing is that just one gram of enriched uranium can release the same amount of energy as more than three tons of oil, making it one of the most concentrated energy sources humanity has ever known. The path to creating one of the world's most powerful energy sources begins in mines located about 450 meters underground. Today, this mine is the largest supplier of high-quality uranium in the world, located in the northern part of Saskatchewan, Canada, a region famous for having some of the biggest and richest uranium reserves on the planet. Deep underground, the layer of uranium ore lies hidden beneath a sandstone formation saturated with groundwater, where the pressure remains constantly very high. To reach this area without causing collapses or flooding, Ultra-resistant drill bits made of tungsten carbide are used, an alloy as hard as a steel fist. These drill bits cut through the rock layer by layer, creating hundreds of small holes in the process. These openings not only provide access to the ore body, but also allow special steel pipes to be inserted, which extract heat from deep within the ground and gradually freeze the entire area around the uranium. All the equipment is carefully operated remotely to minimize dangerous exposure to radiation. Every 1.5 meters of progress, the workers have to attach another section of pipe to the drill bit. To complete a single hole that can reach depths of up to 130 meters, the process can sometimes take as long as eight full days, while the entire mine requires more than 200 pipes like this to keep operations running. After that, a cold calcium chloride solution at 30 degrees is carefully pumped down to freeze the soil and all the surrounding groundwater around the ore body. This process gradually forms a solid and protective layer of ice that completely encases the deposit, preventing any dangerous cave-ins or unexpected water leaks. It's an advanced and modern mining technique that helps safeguard both the workers and the fragile natural environment once the ground has been fully stabilized, powerful drilling rigs are brought in to start opening a series of guide holes, which are then gradually widened and deepened until they become massive access shafts leading directly to the uranium ore body. After the pilot hole has been correctly aligned and secured, an expansion drill continues advancing deeper underground, using a high-speed rotary bit in combination with strong jets of pressurized water. These water jets serve a dual purpose. 
They keep the drilling zone cool under extreme conditions while also carrying loosened rock fragments efficiently to the surface. The entire system is designed to operate continuously in a hazardous, radioactive environment, which means no workers are placed directly at risk. The rough rock fragments containing uranium are extracted through specialized suction pipes or fall into large underground storage chambers from where they are transported using special vehicles with thick protective lead lining or through fully sealed conveyor belts out of the mining area. At the critical transfer point, these containers must undergo strict and thorough checks for radioactivity levels before finally being sent to the specialized processing plant. The small trains operating inside the mine are responsible for pulling one wagon after another, each filled with uranium ore up to the surface. At the transfer station, an automatic system tilts the wagons to unload the ore into special trucks, ready to transport it to the processing plant located just a few kilometers away. On average, the mine can extract and move between 500 and 1,000 tons of raw uranium ore every single day. When the uranium separation plant is reached, tons of raw ore are directly poured onto a modern conveyor system that links the different sections of the entire facility. In the very first stage, the ore passes through a primary crusher equipped with large steel gears that spin constantly, breaking down the bigger rock chunks into smaller pieces. As a result, while continuing its steady movement along the conveyor, each piece of rock is reduced to a size ranging between 2 and 5 centimeters. Next, the ore is carefully fed into a massive ball mill, where thousands of solid iron spheres made from ultra-resistant tempered steel, each one weighing several heavy kilograms, spin continuously at extremely high speed. Through the relentless and powerful impacts between these rotating balls and the pieces of rock, the ore is steadily pulverized until it turns into a fine, uniform powder, similar in texture to coarse sand, fully prepared to begin the complex chemical process of extracting valuable uranium. Once the uranium ore has been thoroughly crushed, it is mixed with water in large industrial agitating tanks to create a thick and dense paste known as slurry. The main purpose of this step is to make transportation much easier and also to properly prepare the material for the uranium separation process in the following critical stages. This mixture is then carefully fed into a spiral classifier system where helical blades rotate slowly and steadily, pushing the slurry upward along the gradual incline of the channel. During this process, the heavier grains of sand settle firmly at the bottom. In the chemical extraction stage, the slurry containing uranium ore is carefully fed into massive industrial reaction tanks, where an entire series of complex chemical reactions gradually take place. To initiate these reactions, specialized reagents such as sulfuric acid, manganese dioxide, and iron salts are added in precise amounts, triggering the precipitation or transformation of impurities into stable, insoluble forms. Through this process, unwanted minerals like iron, manganese, and silicon are effectively removed, leaving behind a purified liquid solution in which the uranium remains fully dissolved. The extracted uranium solution is carefully transferred to massive industrial distillation tanks, where the evaporation process is carried out continuously and steadily for about 12 to 24 hours. At the beginning of this stage, the solution contains roughly 85 to 90% water once the internal temperature of the tank rises well above 800 degrees, all of the water gradually begins to evaporate, leaving behind a dense layer of thick, paste-like crystals with a highly distinctive yellow color. This color comes from the uranyl ion, a form of uranium that shows a slight fluorescence in a natural shade similar to turmeric. The final product is what's known as uranium yellow cake, with a thick, paste-like consistency that is then dried until it becomes a fine powder containing up to 80% pure uranium, ready for the next phase of chemical transformation. Yellow cake cannot be enriched directly. It must first be carefully transformed into uranium hexafluoride, a highly volatile and reactive compound. To achieve this conversion, the yellow cake is dissolved using strong hydrofluoric acid and then gradually heated to about 56 degrees inside a durable stainless steel reactor converting it into a gaseous state. 
The UF-6 is then safely stored in fully sealed steel cylinders. Since this unstable compound reacts violently with even small amounts of water, producing highly dangerous and toxic gases. The UF-6 gas is then carefully fed into powerful centrifuges that spin at ultra-high speeds, reaching more than 50,000 revolutions per minute in order to separate the different uranium isotopes. Uranium-235, which is lighter than uranium-238, naturally tends to concentrate along the central axis of the spinning chamber. By extracting the gas precisely from this middle zone, Enriched uranium is obtained for further use. The remaining uranium-238, on the other hand, is directed safely to a separate and secure storage area. Thousands of centrifuges are linked in a cascading system that runs continuously and is monitored with vibration, temperature, and pressure sensors to prevent imbalance failures. Enriched uranium reaches a concentration of uranium-235 between 0.3 and 0.5% which is enough to be used as fuel in civilian nuclear reactors. The resulting material usually has a dark gray color and looks similar to a fine metallic powder. This uranium is carefully packed into specialized steel drums, similar in shape to industrial oil barrels, but specifically designed to prevent leaks and contain radiation safely. Each drum has a sealed lid, welded with automated technology and inspected using special sensors to detect any potential leaks. On the outside, the drums carry radiation warning labels along with traceability codes. Thanks to this system, the entire process of transport and storage is kept completely safe. After the enrichment process, uranium-235 is converted into uranium dioxide, UO2, a fine dark gray powder. This powder is placed into specialized presses where rotating heads apply intense pressure to compact it into small cylindrical pellets each roughly about the size of a medical capsule. This pressing process must ensure that every pellet has perfectly uniform weight and density, since even the slightest variation could directly affect the performance and stability of the reaction inside a nuclear reactor. The compacted uranium pellets are carefully placed into a high-temperature sintering furnace, where they are heated to around 1600 degrees for a period of five to seven continuous hours. This critical process allows the uranium dioxide particles to fuse tightly together, forming a structure that is much stronger and mechanically more stable. As a result, the finished fuel pellets are able to reliably withstand the extremely high temperatures and intense pressures inside a nuclear reactor. After undergoing the sintering process and strict quality controls, the uranium dioxide pellets are carefully placed inside metal tubes made of zirconium, a special metal capable of withstanding extremely high temperatures and, most importantly, not absorbing neutrons during the nuclear reaction. This property allows the fission process inside the reactor to remain stable. Each zirconium tube contains around 30 tightly compacted fuel pellets, optimizing both space and heat transfer. Once filled, the ends of the tubes are hermetically sealed using automated laser welding, completely preventing any radioactive leaks or loss of efficiency. Afterward, dozens of these fuel rods are assembled into a grid-like structure, forming a complete fuel bundle commonly known as a fuel assembly. These assemblies are the essential building blocks that power modern nuclear reactors around the world. Once it meets all the technical requirements, the fuel bundle is carefully packaged and made ready to be placed inside a nuclear reactor. Just one of these bundles can generate enough electricity to power about 100 households for an entire year. A clear and convincing demonstration of the tremendous power of nuclear energy. The fuel assemblies are carefully placed into the reactor core, where the powerful nuclear fission reaction takes place. In this process, neutrons collide with uranium-235 atoms, splitting them into two smaller parts, and releasing a massive amount of heat along with additional neutrons, which keeps the chain reaction continuously active. The intense heat that's generated is transferred to a sophisticated heat exchange system, where water is boiled to produce high-pressure steam that drives enormous turbines connected to large electric generators. A single reactor can produce between 750 and 200 megawatts, more than enough electricity to power an entire modern city. After about a full year of operation, 
the fuel assemblies have consumed most of their uranium-235. However, they still remain dangerously hot and contain highly radioactive materials. For this reason, they are carefully submerged in deep cooling pools inside the nuclear plant, where they gradually cool down over time and are safely isolated to prevent any accidental release of harmful radiation. Although it's considered one of the most powerful energy sources in the world with countless benefits, have you ever wondered what would really happen if nuclear material leaked and how severe could the consequences be? How are countries dealing with radioactive waste today and is recycling nuclear fuel actually possible? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd really love to hear what you think. So you've just followed the entire journey of uranium, a combination of cutting edge technology and a process of strict control down to the smallest detail. From a seemingly inert mineral hidden deep underground, uranium is transformed into a source of energy powerful enough to change the world. If you found this process fascinating and want to keep discovering how other unique elements are made, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our upcoming videos.